Always begin with an antimicrobial pre-rinse. Have the patient expectorate back into the cup and stuff the paper towels down inside to prevent spilling in the trash can. Dispense gel into a dish or cup to apply to multiple tooth surfaces. Apply the gel onto the tooth surfaces using a suitable instrument such as a microbrush, swab, or toothbrush. Be cautious not to get the gel on the patient's lips, face, or restorations. By using the tri plaque ID gel, you can identify the plaque by observing the color of the stain. A pink or red color on the tooth surface indicates fresh plaque accumulation. A blue or purple color indicates mature plaque that is at least 48 hours old. And a light blue color indicates mature and strong acid producing plaque. After applying the gel to all tooth surfaces, instruct the patient to lightly rinse with water. Using the stain left behind, you can now give the patient specific oral hygiene instruction. You can point out areas that they are missing and give them specific pointers on how to reach those areas. Now, to obtain a plaque index percentage, you'll need to count up the areas in which you see plaque on the teeth. Using your plaque index chart, find the number of teeth present in the patient's mouth on the left side in green. Then, find the number of teeth that had stained plaque present in blue across the top. Now, find where the two numbers meet. This is your plaque index percentage. Include this in your progress note. 